Hello, my dear students. How are you all? Okay, I hope everyone is fine. We have started lesson light. Yes. In the last video, we have learned the concept of light and how does the light travel. When the light travels in a straight line, that phenomena is called as a rectilinear propagation of light. What it is called? Rectilinear propagation of light. So, in today's video, we are going to learn about reflection of light. So, what is the reflection of a light? You might have heard the story of a greedy dog. Do you remember the story of a greedy dog? What happens that? Do you remember the story? What happens in that? Oh, what is the story? Can you just recall? You might be thinking. Yes, I will just recall. In a, I will give a short summary for it. What, what is the story? A dog was, uh, was very hungry and he got one bone and after that he saw in the water. What did he, he thought? He thought that there is a, another dog which is having the bone and he in mind he thought if I will get that bones then I will have the two bones. So what is that exactly? Whether the, there was any another dog? No, it was its reflection. It was its reflection. Yes or no? And also there is one story. Do we remember? There is a story of rabbit and the lion. Same concept is there. So what? What is actually the? It relate. It is related to the concept of reflection. It is related to the reflection. Now what is exactly the reflection? Now in the classics you have learned the different types of material yes or no do you remember the which type of the material you have learned in the lesson light transparent translucent and opaque whether the transparent object can cast a shadow no what is it the transparent transparent material means what the light the light can the material through which the light can pass easily for example if we will take a glass the light can pass easily. So that material is called as a transparent material. Then the next material we have learned about translucent. Translucent means what? The material through which some light can or partially light can pass through it. That is called as a translucent. And the third type of the material we have learned that is opaque. What is exactly the opaque material? The opaque means what? The material through which the light cannot pass through it. Yes or no? The material through which the light cannot pass through it, that material is called as an opaque object. Yes or no? So, in that, you have, we have also learned that opaque object cast a shadow. Opaque object can cast the shadow. Yes or no? So, like that, the reflection of a light is nothing but the image we get means suppose if I will throw a ball on the wall, if I will throw a ball on the wall, it will get reflected back means that the ball after striking on the wall, it will get back again to me, yes or no? So that is nothing but a reflection. Reflection of a light means, what actually the reflection of the light means? The bouncing back of light, the bouncing back of light again that is called as a reflection of a light that is called as a reflection of a light now if you might have you might have been observing yourself always in the mirror yes or no are you everyone is watching in the mirror yes how how handsome or how beautiful i can i am yes or no the boys beside but boys may be saying, yes, how, how, how handsome do I look? Yes or no? Even the girls might be saying, yes, what beautiful I am. Yes or no? Like this you might be seeing, every day you might be watching in a plain mirror. Yes or no? So, mirror is which type of an object? Can you just tell me? Transparent, translucent or opaque? Yes, of course it is a opaque object. It is an opaque object. Now, when you are seeing in the mirror, you can see yourself. Yes or no? What happens? Why do we see? Why do you see yourself? 
in the mirror because when the light is passed through that opaque object it get reflected back from the plane mirror so you can you so you can you are visible to yourself you can see yourself clearly even you can see your image you can get your image even in the still water yes or no if the water is plain and if you want to get your image you can get a clear image yes or no so we can get your image in the water even if the still material if it is that still plain if you take you can get your image yes or no so what exactly the concept is behind that it is nothing but a reflection of a light it is nothing but a reflection of a light now when you are standing in front of mirror so when you are standing in a front of mirror when suppose if i am standing in a front of mirror myself i am an object and the image which we get in the mirror it is called as image it is called as image what it is called it is called as image are you getting me it is nothing but it is a image so and myself i am myself it is a object myself it is a object and the image or the shadow or my when i am getting my image on the mirror in the mirror that is called as that is called as a image it is called as a image now in the class 6 we have also learned the characteristics of the shadow conditions to form a shadow yes or no and we have also learned the concept of lateral inversion what is meant by the lateral inversion do you do you know what is meant by the lateral inversion okay you can just go through it from the from this class 6 book if you are having and in the next time you have to tell me what is meant by the lateral inversion you just go through this what is meant by the lateral inversion now if you might have seen your image in a plane mirror if you might have seen your image in a plane mirror if you might have observed yourself in a plane mirror if how much distance you are standing in front of mirror that must see distance the image is formed at the same distance the image is image is formed from the plane mirror from the plane mirror are you getting this so there are some uh, there are some characteristics of the plane mirror that we will see we in the next video we will learn about the uh, characteristics of the plane mirror what is exactly the plane mirror in, in this video we will just understand the concept of reflection of the light reflection is what bouncing back of light reflection is nothing but bouncing back of light are you getting this so in the next video just before coming to the next video you just read the concept of lateral inversion because in the next video we are going to learn in detail about the lateral inversion and about the plane mirror okay thank you